All right, what is up, my friends? Welcome, Mog Monday, episode one fifteen, holiday season. Holy moly, <laughs> holy moly! Uh, the last Mob Monday before Christmas. So if I don't see y'all on stream or whatever else, happy holidays, everyone. Hope you have a wonderful holiday. And we're playing some goblins today. We did Vintage Masters last week. Um, I was using Modern Sleep, but I, want to, I like mixing up the alternating arena and Magic Online Mob Mondays. So we're playing some Historic, and I whipped up a little token deck here. Uh, it's funny because I started this deck with, uh, of course, the new Blood Artist, uh, Sanguine Sacrament, the Enchantment that conjures a Blood Artist. I started the deck with that and this Blood Artist, but I decided that Sanguine Sacrament's kind of hard to cast, and Bastion just seems better, actually, I think. Um, not really making blood and stuff like that. So we are playing a tokeny goblin deck. We're looking to leverage the death triggers on cards like Blood Artist, cards like Bastion Remembrance, cards like Pashikmons, as well as sacrifice out sacrifice outlet of Sling Gang Lieutenant. Put a bunch of crappy goblins to play, make some blocks here and there, drain some life, and of course kill them in one shot with Sling Gang uh, and Pashikmons. Playing a lot of token makers here like Hordling Outburst, pretty sweet card, makes three goblins, uh, Instigator, Cranko's Command. And uh, Legion War Boss is a pretty awesome one as well. Mutants Expert, Fatal Push, Firebrand, all for removal. Uh, no Mux this year, so I'm actually playing a Critical Mass of Goblins. This is more of like a nickel and dime, sort of grindy out, sort of tokeny, blocky, attacky deck. Uh, Dead of the Bugbear, two Phyrexian Tower, of course, which is a pretty awesome card. And uh, yeah, Cyborg's got Thought Seizes and stuff in it. And we're just going to play some games here on Mog Monday. Mog Monday, episode 115. Save the changes, yes. Uh oh, how about Mog Monday Smiley Face? Is that one in use? Is that one in use? There we go. Remember, folks, we're brought to you by Cool Stuff Inc. is proud to sponsor Jim Davis. We offer great deals on card games, tabletop RPGs, board games, and more. Get a free token featuring Jim Davis and take five percent off your next order if you use the code Jim Five at checkout. CoolStuffInc.com. Cool stuff in stock. Ah, yes. My favorite historic archetype. Mog Monday, smiley face. Mog Monday, smiley face. Plum the Forbidden? That card's kind of cool, but it's a little clunky. It's a little clunky. Unfortunately, no Mog War Marshal or uh, Knucklebone Witch in historic. Uh, both those cards would be excellent. Bronze Mythic will resume it this week at some point. I do have to finish that one off as well. Um, yeah, that'll happen sooner rather than later. We can keep this, the keep it cycling on, this is fine. Yes, that is true. Also, um, the holiday cards have not gone out yet. So, uh, because the, we had a delay on the Karn tokens, we're having them overnighted. They actually, that was the text I just answered. They're going to be sent out today. So the, the card, holiday cards will go out tomorrow. So if you missed the holiday card window, it's in the Discord. Please sign up for the holiday card because you still have a chance to get it. And I would like it if you got it, and uh, you're going to want to do that. If you're a pal driver, a subscriber to the stream, again, you get a free holiday token with a free signed Jim Davis Goblin token, the new Karn Struck token, and a little bit of more in there, all right? So, they'll be a little late this year, unfortunately, but that's life. All right, we got a Moon Dance, some sort of life gain deck here. It's going to be pretty tough for us. Pretty tough for us, I think. Um, all right, so we're going to play a land cycle of a slew. And say go. This is going to get far too big to handle, most likely. We, we do have two, have two pushes in our deck, I suppose. But Also, the problem is we're looking to Nickel and Dine, like, drain their life down. And if they are able to gain life and sort of mitigate that, that could be a huge problem. We had D-Ray, new sub. What's your name? Where from? Thanks so much. Oh, my God. Get that. Get out the reading glasses. Where are my reading glasses at? What's this card do? A Grizzled Huntmaster. ET I'm just going to let it resolve. Yeah, what does it do? You exile a creature card from your hand. If you do search your library for things, you can then you can put a card from outside the game. So we're going to get rid of a voice of a blessed. Okay. I don't know why they want to get rid of that card. That card's really good. And they're going to go over sideboard and get... I guess it's just sort of like a tutor, right? It's just sort of like a land... or It's sort of like a Fauna Shaman activation. Uh, but the creature has to be in your sideboard, obviously. Jesus, reset up. Thanks so much. Don't know what they got, either. Don't know what they got. Scared to attack. Scared to attack. Another Firebrand. And a Bastion of Remembrance. Alright. Uh, hmm. I mean, we could second Firebrand here in theory if we wanted to uh, 
if we want to actually kill the Moondancer before they can use it. Um, again, the problem is, like, they just, if they just keep gaining life, they're going to overcome the life loss from the Bastion and friends. It's super mana inefficient, and it's a two-for-one to kill this thing, but it is uh, kind of a thing we should kill. I mean, I'm going to do it, I think. It, it kind of sucks, but it feels real bad, but if we don't kill it now, we're not going to kill it ever. We'll uh, say go here. Definitely not the best exchange for us. It doesn't have two towers on it, which kind of sucks, but... Oh, they're a Scurry Oak deck, too. Okay, that's that's crappy. So the combo deck here with Heliod. We draw Legion War Boss. Kind of a sweet one. Um It's probably Sling Gang this turn, and then two three drops next turn. We're using Frexian Towers, so play Sling Gang to take up. Obviously naked Sling Gang, not too exciting, but So yeah, now the life gain train starts, and like again, we're looking to kind of nickel and dime them, but they're cashing in quarters uh, for life, which is not ideal. Um, no blocks is fine. So we're gonna want to go outburst bastion, I think. So play land, play outburst, crack one of these goblins. Play Bastion. And anyway, a nice little setup here as far as uh, you know, block of life loss, but again, uh, they're gaining life to mitigate it, which kind of sucks. We can't Bastion first because we need the black black off of the Phyrexian Tower for the extra mana boost. I guess I could have sacrificed the goblin in play. That's true, I guess. Yeah, you're right. I should have the Bastion first. There's a Moon Dancer, sure. Alright, uh sure. So again, like, I think their life gain is just going to outpace us. Right now, every goblin's worth two damage, but... Alright, well, they're out, of, they're out of gas. I missed the scry in the moon dancer. I didn't see if it was top or bottom, but... Um... War boss. Make a token, has to attack. Sack it to Sling Gang anyway. You kind of see the idea of what we're trying to do here. And, uh. Definitely looking for another Blood Artist effect, either Bastion or actual Blood Artist or Pashik Vons. You have a lot of them. Innkeeper, that's a problem. Yeah, I mean, we can block for days, but again, we're sort of like not normally we'd be blocking for days and then making up the uh, the damage with our our triggers, but they just are gaining life also, which stinks. Which stinks. Like they'd be at like eight or or, or like six right now without without life gain they've already gotten. All right, you need a spell here. We have our, we have our bugbear too, honestly, so okay, we can get some end. Another sling gang. Alright, um, I've got to find something in the bugbear, honestly. Uh, they only have two blockers that can actually kill things. And we have enough attackers to like, actually push some damage here, I think. Alright, let's uh, fire up the bugbear. Let's move to combat. Send in the clowns. I guess there's no point sending this thing in because it can't sacrifice it. So send in these. It's funny because send in the war boss too. I guess it would just die, but it doesn't work. So attack with these. Make another token off of the uh, the bugbear. And they're going to keep both their things alive and let the uh, the bugbear get through. Sure. So two more damage.
I am pumped for Cupid Charity, I'm not gonna lie. Mute of Massacre would be tough because like it's a little hard to cast, I think. Uh, it is another effect like like this, however, which is kinda cool, but I don't know. It's a possibility. It's it was considered, but they're just dead. They're just dead, right? They just killed himself. Alright, I'm gonna go for it, so. Alright, well maybe maybe it isn't isn't that bad of a matchup. <laughs> Revitalize, bring it on. Bring it on. Alright, well, I guess it's a good matchup because that opponent decided they didn't want to make any more blocks and just die. I also have Cooper Cup. Uh, my first round of fantasy playoffs is this week. Or next week, I'm sorry, next week, right? Is it this week? I don't even know. It is this week. Because yeah, that last week is still is still this week because of the late games. Um I don't even know. Alright, I'm gonna bring in some fatal pushes. And this is like they're a combo deck based around Heliod and Scary Oak. <clears throat> Removal does break it up though. So I don't think we need Thoughtseize or anything like that. Um Legion War Boss is pretty bad against them. They have a lot of good blockers, so I think this is fine. Kinda want the gem bombs too, honestly. If we shave like Firebrand push. You should have like a bastion and I don't know. What many lands we got here? 23 lands. <clears throat> We're on the draw and gem bomb. The cycling from gem bomb can draw land. I'm gonna cut a land. I'm gonna cut a Phyrexian Tower. I don't wanna draw two of you to that game and I don't think we need a speed. How's everyone's holiday week going? What's everyone up to? Nah, there are there are no cool alchemy cards, unfortunately. There are no cool alchemy cards, unfortunately. Alright, uh, hands good. Hands good. How does Bash compare to Brushstroke? Well, what, like I said, when I first built the deck, I started with four Blood Artists and four Brushstroke. Four blush, four brush stroke. But the reality is that Brushstroke is basically just a three mana hard to cast Blood Artist that can die really easily. Um, and I would prefer to have a card that didn't die really easily. So I decided to just play the, uh, the Bash instead. Uh, just play Black Source here. Right? Leave a push. They played a Farmland. I think we won that first game. Soul Warden. Uh, yeah, we're just gonna kill that. What's up, John? Happy Holidays, my friend. Happy Holidays. Cube for charity. I am pumped for Cube for charity. There's Heliod. Alright, sure. Another Lando. Um, yeah, I mean, a little land heavy. A little land heavy here. I'm not going to lie, but... Definitely prefer not to draw any more lands. We do have this this uh, Ten of the Bugbear, but... Mon Capitan! Mon Capitan. Voice of the Blessed. Hordling Outburst. Alright, so, uh... <clears throat> when goblins die, we can shoot stuff. If I attack with both tokens, they block one token with captain. I can sack that token. We sack... We could sack a goblin, sack with the death of the bugbear. I mean, like, they could just not block, right? We kind of need, like, need our... Need our, uh, I, 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 played, I didn't play this hour anyway, so. Um, I'm going to attack. I'm going to attack everything, honestly, I think. I want to kill this voice before they can use it. See what they do. So, we can sack a token to make two tokens. Ping the voice. Pashikmon dies. Ping the voice. Yeah, we're gonna do that. This is not the most ideal turn for us, but I think getting voice dead is pretty important. So we're trading Patrick Mons for voice. And then next turn we can go Outburst and Krakos Command. It's also, it's two devotion for Heliod too, and of course it's gonna grow and be difficult to, to, uh, to beat, so. I'm sorry, McIntyre, it sucks. 
Scurry Oak, that's part of the combo. So uh, if they can get a Soul Warden effect, they have infinite squirrels and infinite life. Damn, so many lands. So many lands. All right, uh, I think we're in trouble here. I'm actually going to cycle the slew and not even bother playing Mr. Craigless Command because we need to find, like, something here to, to get this game going. That's bad. So if Captain finds a Soul Warden effect, we're dead. That'll do it. So combo here is a loop. Innkeeper gains a life whenever you make a squirrel. Whenever you gain a life, put a counter on Scurry Oak. Whenever you uh, make, gotta put, a, put a counter on Scurry Oak, you make a squirrel, etc., etc. So they have infinite squirrels and infinite life. So go to our next game here. We go to our next game. And uh, yeah, same thing. It's fine. Boltmeister. Not gonna lie, folks. I have a confession to make. Who wants to hear my confession? Who wants to hear my confession? Boltmeister. On the fly. Yeah. It's going to be like a... Do we play slew or not as a land? I'm going to play each place since I go... We're still fear for it, so you know, I know, right? We can't even play Ferocidon because we're playing so many creatures. So, I'll preface this by saying no spoilers in chat. Uh, do not, you will be banned, permanent, permanent banned from my chat if you spoil uh, anything. Um, Nicole and I saw Spider Man on, uh, it was like the morning after it came out. And you walked out of the theater, and I hated it. And I was very, very surprised to see universal acclaim among all of. You know, on Twitter, on on every social media thing I've seen, um, and it wasn't necessarily like a bad movie. But I thought it was a really bad MCU movie. I think I'm gonna do a video on it because I am I am that surprised that people love it so much. Uh, like genuinely, like not trying to be an edge lord, not trying to be like contrarian. Just like I actually hated it, and uh, I'm. Very interested and very confused as to like why people are so about it. So look for that one maybe over the next few days. I'm gonna do that. Um, people love it on Twitter. Love it. I mean reviews are all positive. I mean for the most part, I haven't seen a bad word spoken about it. Man, look at this draw. Jeez, innkeeper into moon dancer and voice the blessed. Old man yells a clap. All right, so um, we got enough goblins to play to kill one of these. With our gem bomb, which is pretty nice, I guess. We should go instigator gem bomb. Bishark, are you uh, are you uh, uh, David Bishop? I think was the name, right? David Bishop. So we're gonna instigator gem bomb here. Kill the moon dancer. Give us right now. Prospector just like doesn't do anything. Honestly, like it, it's a sack outlet, but has no real other benefit in the deck because we're not like ramping anything. So. I, and I love I love MCU stuff. So, all right. So the Patrick Mons can get in. I should have everything can get in because I want this thing to die. So, I brought it up in Discord and no one seemed to want to talk about it. I was gonna make it make it its own channel. I've actually been dying to talk about it. Um, I love the Last Jedi, uh, personally. I, I I should did a video on that too. Um, all right. So they have Soul Warden. Oh my God! They're really going off here. I guess we can kill the Soul Warden and the Innkeeper next turn, sort of maybe. Um, but yeah, I'm gonna do a, I'm gonna do a, I'm gonna do a video. I think more so. I just, just want to hear everyone's everyone's thoughts because I'm just that was a really good draw. That was a really good draw. So I'm just very surprised how everyone felt about it. Honestly. Just another Mog Monday. Like the last show, I didn't like No Way Home. No, I mean, I can talk about it. Last year that was not perfect by any means, but it at least had vision. Um, all right, yeah. So we're gonna play the, the, the sling gang, kill both these soul warden effects. Um, they're gonna gain a life, but whatever. We're gonna play triggers. We're gonna sack. Uh, I don't know. I 
guess the real card. Shoot Soul Warden. Parasite was good. Yeah, I mean, we'll just do a Keeper Mulligan. Again, no spoilers in chat. Keeper Mulligan, did you like the new Star Wars, the new, new Spider-Man movie? Keep if you liked it, Mulligan if you didn't. Keeper Mulligan, did you like the new, new uh, Spider-Man movie? All right, so gain a life on that. Make some tokens. Play Dead of the Bugbear. Uh, Sack and Drain. Kill the Innkeeper. See, so you have like a Sharpshooter-esque engine in play right now. You can't really attack, but it's fine. YouTube folks, it's also going to be your comment of a day, I guess. But again, no spoilers. It came out like f like four or five days ago. I don't know. They have a big flyer now, but we were pretty well set up here with Blood Artist, Pashik Mons, and Sling Gang. I'm pretty sure we can just kill them next turn. Uh, maybe we can kill them next turn. That's a pretty big boom boom. Broccoli uh, monster here. Um, we're going to cycle Slew. Because we're, we're, we're for sure playing Blood Artist, so. Cycle slow. Draw Expert. Wow. Wow. That was pretty dope. Uh, okay. So we can kill uh, the Gargi now. And I don't think we care about Voice of the Blast. We're just going to race it. We only have two cards in hand. This gains life. Um, we have seven goblins in play. Yeah, this is fine. And I, I want to keep my sacks until one artist comes down, so. Kill that, and just say go. Just say go. Would love to draw a Bastion or another Blood Artist. Because once Blood Artist is in play, every Goblin that can sacrifice this game will deal three damage, which is pretty insane. That's three, six, nine, twelve, you know, fifteen, etc., etc., etc. Found a Moon Dancer. Okay, but no way to gain life at present. I think this game's over, folks. I think this game's over. This is like a bad matchup, too. I thought we were in big trouble. Hatch is like reset. Thanks so much. 36 months. That's three years. Two freaking years. Blood Artist. God, you're so dead. So dead. Oh, my, my, my. Say bye, bye, bye. Game. Oh boy, that was that was actually pretty impressive. Uh, that was actually pretty sweet. One and up, Mug Monday. Rocking around the Goblin Tree. Uh, yeah, sure. Keep this. Keep this. Keep this. The Brewski. Thanks, uh, Shababa. Appreciate it. Just another Mug Monday. Take us resub. Thanks so much. Appreciate all the resubs. I know I, was, I, haven't, I haven't streamed much in the last two weeks. Up uh, based on the Mog Champ emote. Uh, someone had like messaged me about it, uh, about doing it. I didn't like their sketches very much, and I don't know. It should never, never went anywhere. But I have like, I have like the list of things I had to do is, is so unbelievably endless that I, I just can't even get. I can't even keep up. Honestly. Outburst. Like, I've been working on the queue for charity stuff for the last few days. Uh, I'm doing all the promos for that. I commissioned a, a, a hype video for it, which should be really cool. It should come out today, hopefully. Um, had to organize all that as well. Should be really, really sweet. A little loot skis here. Queue for charity is going to be the nut. Queue for charity is going to be great. Great squads this year. Great squads. We're going to win this year. We're, we're going to win this year. I know I lost the last two years. When it was just me versus Abro, I lost. And then we lost last year. It was close. I think we lost like 21 to 19 trophies or something like that uh, last year. It was close for sure. Uh, but we're, we're going to win this year. They discarded Unholy Heat. Wow. Interesting. Mountain Smoldering Egg. All right. Um, yeah, I mean, sure. Yeah, last year I was hot, hot, cold, hot. I, like, trophied the first, like, you know, three of the first four or five drafts. Then I had a big lull in the middle where I didn't trophy for, like, seven or eight drafts. Then I trophied the last, like, you know, whatever, three of the last four or something like that. 
So we got Egg, Darcy, Looting. I believe we draw a lot of lands. We're playing, what, 23 lands in this deck? We've drawn a lot of lands. Watch to see reading up how cube works. Rope Burn's gifting subs. Oh, it's Thanks, Rope Burn. I appreciate oh that. God. We're actually below... We were actually below 650 subs for the first time probably in like a year. Because I just haven't streamed much in the last like, you know, a few weeks. I was on vacation for a while and then the holidays I'm really busy. So, appreciate the uh, support. Happy holidays, my friend. Some loot skis. Discarding an ox. No phoenixes, though. And we draw fatal push. That's pretty cool. That's pretty cool. Um, do we push the egg or do we push the the Darcy? I think it's the channeler, honestly. Just go wide, tax. Roll away says, watch your Hooplandia coverage this weekend. It was entertaining. Yeah, it was great. Jeff's obviously phenomenal, runs a great event. I also, um, you know, Cedric's a good friend of mine, so I feel a little weird gushing about it, but um, it was a, definitely a bucket list item of mine to do commentary with Cedric. It was a lot of fun. It was a lot of fun. So, uh, we're just gonna kill an outburst and attack and stuff. Kill this. I'm not sure why outburst for attacking. That was kind of stupid, but whatever. They're gonna block anyway. Go get him, Blood Artist! Go get him! Yeah, the last draft last from last year's Cooper Charity was awesome. Uh, I was just wasted drafting Eureka. Uh, that was a lot of fun. That was a lot of fun. So looking for a Sling Gang here. Basically Splinter Twin, you know, Sling Gang plus a Blood Artist effect. Yeah, that that's that's on YouTube. Yes, I, I did the first and the last draft for Q for Charity on YouTube. I'm going to do that again this year. So the very first draft will go on YouTube and the very last draft will go on YouTube. First draft, I'm fresh, you know, bushy-eyed, whatever, bright-eyed, bushy-tailed, um, you know. Oh, yeah, let's go. The last draft, I'm a broken shell of a man. I've been queuing for like 18 hours. I'm drunk. Uh, it's like one in the morning. You know, I'm just like, ah, oh, Eureka, I need another grizzle brand. It was good. It was good. My required TV. Nimi, so if you folks don't know what I'm talking about right now, we're doing Q for charity. Uh, it's our third year running, uh, me versus Team J, bro. And what is Q for charity? Q for charity is me and J, bro, doing a trophy challenge on the Vintage Cube on Magic Online. So we're going to, for 48 hours, myself, and three team members, uh, Reed Duke, uh, Arya, I don't butcher her last name, and uh, and uh, Cedric Phillips versus Jabro, Nasif, uh, Mebo, and Caleb D. We'll be trying to see what team can get the most trophies, uh, vintage cube trophies, and it is an unbelievable amount of fun. Everyone's bouncing between screams. We just can't trust spells, can we? Uh, just cycle a cycle this here. So much more fun. I had brown sugar bourbon. I got it. We, we got it, Coral. We're good to go. How many lands are in this deck? Somebody's playing a prank on uh, me. We're going to attack anyway, so... This time, Blood Artist is not going to attack, though. List for the cube. It's just a vintage cube. It's just the Magic Online vintage cube. It's in for four here. Um, yeah, we need, we need to draw some spells. We're not going to win this game, unfortunately. Uh, they kill this Blood Artist. It's kind of all we got right now. They have a lot of resources. <clears throat> Yeah, you can see uh, we have this awesome API tracker, thanks to Dan Bopes from MTG Bot, uh, where it live tracks the trophies, which is uh, this thing right... Oh, crap. I didn't put it in the assets. Oh, no. Uh, well, it's somewhere, but it's, it's awesome. Uh, where is that? I don't know where it is, but it's great. It's great. Fire in the creature land there. I mean, maybe. I don't know. They're going to finale here. Oh, God. No, no. Just the, just the Vintage Cube on, on Magic Online. My Cube's better, obviously, but... Yeah, I think we're dead. We get the finale here. Cast multiple spells. They seem to have uh, targeted their triggers wrong, but... If we draw Sling Gang, I think we're still, uh... Yeah, they never put the, 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 their triggers wrong. So they're 
nine. Maybe we draw Slang Gang, we're okay. This has to attack. Will the dragon stay home or get frisky? Cowardly dragon. Puff the cowardly dragon. This is ridiculous. This is ridiculous. Uh, whatever. We need to get enough goblins in place. We draw Slang Gang and win the game. Push some damage. Alright, they got out we got outs, folks. We got outs. Uh we're drawing to I think any blood artist effect. Honestly. Sling Gang is obviously a win by itself, but even just like a bastion. I guess we would only attack for four. I don't know, we'll see. I mean they're gonna kill all my stuff here, I guess, with the dragon. I don't know, we'll see. Yeah, I guess I guess dragon's just gonna kill everything. Yeah, I mean we definitely uh drew eight lands this game, that's for sure. Nine lands, we cycled a slew, too. That's pretty sick, though. We actually played... We actually cast four spells this game, and they're almost dead. We cast four spells. Two outbursts, a push, and an artist. Blah, blah, blah. Opt, opt, opt. They have an arc light now, too. They actually killed the dragon. Killed the egg. Because the channelers have to attack anyway, so it's not like they were like gonna defend. They should have killed the uh, killed the egg on that turn uh, many turns ago. <laughs> yeah, follow the show with that follow button. Of course, on YouTube, make sure you like, comment, subscribe. Model Monday to show we play goblins every single Monday. John's got a hockey game today. John got traded again. Uh, John's been on four different teams in uh, his hockey league, unfortunately, which is really annoying because he uh, restarted playing hockey last season, uh, got put on a new team, which is fine, and I was coaching the team, I learned everyone's names, I, would, I was practicing with them like for a half an hour before each game, they went from losing every game to like winning a couple games, they came in, they lost the semis, I think, at the playoffs, or the finals, semis, I think it was semis, no, they, they, they won the semis and lost the finals, we weren't there, we were Disney, uh, so like... Took a lot for ice cream. It was great. And then you just moved, just moved on to a different team. So now I got to learn everyone's name all over again. Just, just sucks. Just really, really sucks. They wouldn't do anything about it either. But John's had a game. And then nothing else to talk about here when they're just playing a thousand spells in a row. <clears throat> Lost the finals. Yeah, we weren't, we weren't there. Okay. Uh, I don't think we have any outs. Sling Gang is one short. Oh, actually, Sling Gang would do it. Unless they have, unless they have an unholy eat. Well, we drew another land, so I guess we're going to lose. Uh, a lot of lands that game. A lot of lands. A lot of lands. All right, so... We are going to want what? Relics, obviously, are fine against Arclight. They're not, like, super important, though. It's not a trade. You just, like, you just got moved. Like, you just got put on a different team. Like, they'll reorganize. They, re they re re reorganize the team sometime. sometimes. Sometimes. Um, <clears throat> Fatal push to kill Darcy and Egg does seem pretty good. Expert might not always do it, honestly, because they have uh, removal removals. I'm the pushes. Do I want the war boss? I don't think so. This is fun. I think this is fun. Let's not draw 11 lands this game. That'd be cool. That'd be sweet. That'd be great. That'd be awesome. Stroma. Stroma. So yeah, I gotta, I gotta finish Bronson Mythic. Um, probably do that like tomorrow or Wednesday. We're at Diamond 4. Gotta resume that. Gotta resume that and knock that one out. I plan that one better in the future. All right, on the play. Two lander, keep. Definitely never drawing a third land. Definitely, definitely, 100% never drawing a third land. Hand's good. Hand's definitely good.
<laughs> Ross says, without trades, my fantasy Long Island Youth Hockey League league would be so boring. <laughs> Blood Artiste. Blood Artiste. What's up, Adam? Just another Mog Monday. Adam, two years! Two years. Thanks, Lisa. Appreciate it. Smoldering Eggsies. Oh, we drew a land. Wow. It's uh, kind of a weird land, actually, but we drew a land. Uh, Alright, so Tower, War Boss, Token, Attack. Get in there, Blood Artist! So, yeah, we're a little flush on Black Mana here. Um. We can tower out to Bastion or Sling Gang. Got our value off War Boss. If they kill it, we still got a token at least. We have four pushes in our deck now for Egg. It exiles? What? I know it's hard exiled. Uh, gross, sure. Alright. Not ideal, but it's fine. That's really annoying, honestly. If this card exiles. Missed out on three Blood Artist triggers. Sorry, little Johnny, gotta clear some cap space. Cavalcade of Calamity. Cavalcade requires you to also attack. Uh, and we're almost more of a blocking deck than an attacking deck. I think Cavalcade of Calamity is just like a very bad magic card. Um, I think it's the definition of a win more card. It is really, really only good when you're winning. Um, okay. I mean, we're going to just outburst here and leave a fatal push for the smoldering egg. Seems reasonable to me. Hopefully, they don't have that many more Crush the Weeks. Drawing push for this egg is really, really good for us. We'll just say go. of remembrance they're gonna abrade my 1-1 one, one. Sure. it's gonna kill this now so they can't like negate it or something or whatever so they kill that bastion triggers uh, they now have an egg on two we've got lieutenant firebrand they have four cards in hand you're gonna consider, sure. Hit the builder on cavalcade with the creatures to gain when you deal non-combat damage. Yeah, the problem is like you just end up building this ridiculously fragile aggressive deck um, that needs a lot of things to work together. And if they don't work properly, then the cavalcade literally does nothing. Um, so I played cavalcade decks before when they were in standard and stuff, and like I just think the card's really, really not good. When it works, it looks fat, looks fantacular, fantacular, fantacular. Uh, but all right, we get Phoenix here. They got one Phoenix. All right, the egg's getting a little bigger. Are they gonna hold back the Phoenix on defense or go onto the offense? Are they a coward or a warrior? They're a warrior. They're a warrior. I, I respect that. Firebrand. All right, so we are going to. Hmm. Do I want to sack a token and play Firebrand? I don't think so. We should at least lose out some value there, so. We can use Tower to fire up the dead next turn, too, which is kind of cool. If they have an Unholy Heat here and they kill my Lieutenant, that'll suck really bad. But, what are you going to do? Oh, they definitely do. That sucks. That sucks. All right. Oh, that's bad. That's bad. That's bad. That's bad. That's bad. bad. What? It resolved? Wow. Alright. What could they have for one red? They wouldn't want to cast in response to that to kill the lieutenant. Oh, now we have 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12 damage in blood. Okay. That's not bad. Uh, say go. System message threw him off. Yep. Threw him off totally. 
Another smoldering egg. Okay, that's a good start, because that's not doing much right now. Eluding. I mean, I think we're in pretty great shape next turn. Jadar is bugged, where instead of making a token, if you didn't have a token, it made a number of decayed tokens equal to the number of decayed tokens you already had, which is a super, super bizarre bug. Uh, but that's what it did. They just discarded an unholy eat? What? <laughs> Inconceivable. They had the unholy eat and didn't kill my sling gang? All right, you say so. Okay. And they're going to attack with everything, too? Oh, they're just dead, right? Now every goblin is three damage. That's a tap line. That's funny. Yeah. Uh, I don't think our opponents have played very well today. Uh, but I'm going to put that one out there. So they block one, take seven, and then take a, a whole bunch. I, 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 I don't know what they're doing. They had all the tools in the world to beat us this game and just decided not to. No respect at all. Just no respect for slinging, Lieutenant. Alright, I, I guess. I guess. Um, paid actors indeed. I'm just going to stand pat here. Just gonna stamp that. Those crush the weeks are scary. Those crush the weeks are scary. You gotta like play around that a little bit, but they knew it was Mog Monday. That's true. They knew it was Mog Monday. They know what day it is. They know what day it is. Uh okay. That is a red source and not really a black source. We can keep this in the draw. Fraxian Tower is a cool card. It's a pretty cool card. Darcy. Just gonna kill the Darcy right now. I miss, I miss Mog Fanatic. What's a better card? Alright, we get it. We understand. Uh, Mog Fanatic or Firebrand? It's in a vacuum, what's a better magic card? I think it's Firebrand. They foretell. Alright, so they foretell. Sort of letting us know that they have the uh, sweeper. I think it's uh, I think it's Firebrand. Iteration, sure. Crush the Week is a sorcery, I think. Sorcery, yes. Damage is not used to stack, so. Maybe it did a long time ago, but it doesn't currently. Um, damn, so how do we play around Crush the Week here? We just like give them the uh, the command, I guess. Just play a second command, I think we do. Hand's pretty gassy, honestly, so. Death of Mod Fanatic. Well, you're a boomer, Ross. Of course you said Mod Fanatic. Mog is certainly more uh, more flexible, for sure. Just being always available. Did I get injured doing any of the scenes for the new Jackass movie? <laughs> It's not called Fanatic Monday now, is it? It's true. It's true. I'm a boomer trader. Come on. Call me a boomer trader. You gonna you gonna crush me or what? Crush me. Crush me. I am weak. Crush me. Firebrand because it provides the immensely satisfying turn one play it's habit. Now Crush does exile. 
So if they crush with the Phoenix in play, all right, I mean, this seems great for us, right? We just, now we just play Sun Gang. And if they crush, we just nug them for a whole bunch. All right, you got it. You got it. So now if they want to play crush, they kill their own Phoenix and we just nug them for seven. Merfolk Monday's on the uh, on the cool stuff. I played uh, Aether Vial less Merfolk in Modern on my cool stuff video, uh, playing Utopia Sprawl instead to go for turn two God of Sea and Sky and turn two Marrow Reach Reed to untap lands and cast more stuff. Look for that one on CoolStuffInc.com. Unholy Heat. So now the question is, do we sacrifice some of these tokens to play around Crush the Week? It's Crush the Week. It's not even, it can't be anything else. Oh, we're going to. So, how much is the question? Um, I kind of want them to cast it because it kills their Phoenix too. I think at least three. And then we sack the... Sling Gang also to put them to eight. That if they don't crush, you put them to five. I mean, I really want them to cast the Crush of the Week. Right, this is fun. It's like this. I agree, Ross, it's weird, but this the Murpho God is just so stupidly good that you just gotta play it on you just gotta play it on turn three, I think, or turn two. Deck's not fast enough otherwise. Four tall crush the week in a hard cast Phoenix is so bizarre. I you're not wrong. You're not wrong. Alright. Uh blue blue up here. I think we're just bossing. We could boss them post combat artist. Artiste. Artiste. No! So many Crush the Weeks. So many Crush the Weeks. Pashik Mons. Don't want to outburst and cast the Blood Artist? I think I do. Stop casting Crush the Week, please. <laughs> please. I'm begging you. Alright. Uh, I can hold the land. Just play Pashik Mons. Doing the thing. Doing the thing. Taxis. What do they got over there? What's going on? Unholy heat, my Pashik Mons. Sure. So you know, one and one to you. One and one. Who thinks this is Digital Errata Blood Artist to say target opponent instead of target player? Me. I do. Me. So now unless they have an exiling removal effect, they're just dead. What's up, Lindsay? Vintage Cube tomorrow. That's right. All right. That was a weird match. Um, I think our opponent could have made some more optimal plays uh, for sure. But we'll take it. We'll take it, I guess. 2-0 uh, Mog Monday. Just another Mog Monday. Shingo. You battlefield. That's a nice battlefield. Look at the people walking in and out, having a good time. View battlefield. View browser. Keep. Keep, keep, keep. Opponent Mulligans. They're playing Yorion. Freaking companions, you know? Uh, yeah, sure. Mock Fanatic can't do this. I can tell they're having a good time. I mean, they would go somewhere else if they weren't having a good time, right? There's freaking confetti. Ross, there's confetti. 
When has there ever been confetti where you weren't having a good time? All right, come on. Seriously, this is your cranky than everyone else's. I was stupid. I should have left this back for soul, for soul order. That was really dumb. That play, Jim. So here's uh, Firebrand's weakness against Mog Fanatic. All right, thank God I didn't have a soul order. What's up, Bork? Confetti is stupid, and I hate it. Ross Merriam, ladies and gentlemen. Ross Merriam. I'm playing sloppy. I should attack first. Whatever. Make some blocks. Do some things. You ever see that movie, um, uh, uh, crap, what's it called? What's the goddamn Scrooge movie called? Innkeeper? I think that's fine. What's it called? Christmas Carol, thank you. Ross is basically Scrooge from a Christmas, a Christmas Carol. Scrooged, Muppet, Muppet Christmas Carol. They were watching that yesterday. We had Nicole's family over. More life gain. They're going to Neoform the wall. I mean, I have to assume this is going to be a, a soul herder. But I can just kill it, right? It has to be a three drop. Deputy of Detention. So I can kill my own creature and keep all these tokens. So would I rather have a Firebrand in play? Or would I rather have three tokens in play? Pretty sure three tokens. So we're going to kill our own creature here. Feels bad, but... Is Die Hard a Christmas movie? Yeah, sure. I'm down with that. Instigator. Alright. Uh, I mean... It's probably just Patrick Mons, so we draw a Lamb for Sling Gang. We just go nuts, so... Play Patrick Mons, tag with everything. Coral, <laughs> gifting a sub to Ross. You're a sub now, Ross. You're cranky confetti hating crankiness cur curmudgeon egg three what's up nurse soul herder shit soul herder deputy so good against us wait what this, what why why would they do this they're valuing their so their my Patrick Mons more than their Soul Herder. Our opponents have not played uh, not played spectacularly so far in this uh, in this set of games. Um, I don't know how we were ever beating Soul Herder. Plus, I guess we had we just drew Fatal Push, but all right. Um, we got Bastion or Outburst here. Kind of terrified of another deputy, so I'm just gonna Bastion. They are Yorian decks, so ideally they don't have any of their uh, Soul Herder at the ready. They have a Grizzled Huntmaster. Okay. So they're going to exile a card from their hand. It's a Wall of Blossoms. And they're going to tutor a creature card from their sideboard. Where they probably have it in the Deputy, if I had to guess. I want to draw a land here. I want to draw a land for... Uh, no, that actually wasn't bad either. That was actually pretty good. Uh, okay. <clears throat> so now we have Expert and Push Up. It's pretty good. It's pretty good. We're going to... Fight uh, side with everything. They block Huntmaster and Deputy on tokens. Let me just say go here. It's a little face up, but... Could be a captain, an elite spellbinder. That's really annoying. I wonder if that was the card they were going for. Yeah. I think that's fine, honestly. Because I don't want them to take my sling gang, so I'll just leave the expert in my hand. Jackal, new sub, what's your name, where are you from? Thanks so much. Again, one more time, folks. 
Holiday cards are not out yet. There was a delay on the Karn tokens. They're being overnighted today. So they'll probably go out tomorrow. So you still have a little bit of time. If you haven't filled out the form for your holiday card, literal last chance. You've been gifted a, a last chance by some shipping delays. I kind of want to block here, expert down the Spellbinder, and then push down the Deputy. So, drain for three. So you have life gain decks, you know? What's up, Stefan? You're a Canadian living in the Netherlands. Sweet. Land number four. God damn it. We were trying to play around this exact thing by killing the one in place. They couldn't blink it. Bastard. Deputy Detention is really, really good against our Goblin Token deck. Just gonna throw that one out there. A little softball toss for y'all. As is the life gain. As is the life gain. They've gained like probably 12 life this game already. Oh crap. Alright, I think we're dead. I think we're dead. Yeah, it's really, really good. I feel like Inquisitor Captain should be if you cast it through your hand. Um, I think the card's really fair and fun when you cast it, but I think blinking it is, like, a little bit too good. Um, yeah. Yeah. Well, uh... We finally drew our fourth land, and it's, uh, way too late, so we're going to concede to go to the next game. Um, yeah, they got some pretty nasty stuff against us. I'm not gonna lie. We are going to bring in some cards. Unfortunately, Deputy is just so good against our Goblin Tokens. Um, I would like to take out Fatal Push and lean more on Thought Seizes, Gem Palms, maybe War Bosses. Cut the Outburst completely because they have so much anti-Goblin Token stuff. And try and hit their value cards before they can actually cast them. And shave. Firebrand's like only okay. I shave like a command and a firebrand. Let's try this. Yeah, like the blinking it, the mimic's really annoying. Like, and that's the kind of cool thing about these digital cards, they can just like fix them. Which I think is great. So, on the play. Uh, hand's good. Hand's actually very good. Blinky, blinky, blinky. And they mulligan to six. I'm going to shock, uh, because we're going to shock at some point anyway, so. And their hand is Soul Herder, Skyclave, Lands. Soul Herder, definitely the best card in their deck. But, obviously, I don't think can do with it yet. I'm just thinking Soul Herder. Skyclave is great and all, but Soul Herder is, like, just by far the best card in their deck. Alright. Instigator. We get our live war boss next turn. They can skyclave it, but we'll still get value off of it. Yeah. Yeah. That's fine. They're gonna skyclave it, we'll untap, attack with everything, they'll probably block, and then we'll kill it with Firebrand. Cool. 
cool. No, yes, no. That's gotta be a mistake, because they want to leave the tokens in play for Deputy, I would think. Kill this, get a 3-3, and play another Instigator. Again, I want to diversify my card names in play, so they can't Deputy me. Pretty wide. Pretty wide. Go to 11. Lieutenant. Currently DOB. Skyclave again? That's gross. Alright, so... Now we need to decide if we want to sack things or not. I don't think we do. I also need to decide if we want to sacrifice the Sling Gang. Or leave it under the Skyclave so we get a 4-4 later. Maybe it's Emory. Uh, okay. Uh, not good sequencing from our opponent here. Haha. <laughs> So now they're targeting another one. I guess that this is the one that's tied to it now, so that resolves. And now I can sacrifice this one before the other one resolves. And now this will no longer be tied to it because they flickered it, so I'll sacrifice the Sling Gang also. Like a boss. Like a boss. Block here, block here, take five. DOB, DOB barring some, uh, some shenanigans. So I guess if I had allowed the... the uh, trigger to resolve on the instigator, I would have gotten a 2-2 two -two here. But... Any blocker turns off DOB, but a land turns it back on again. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. So, Naked Skyclave. Blink Wall of Blossoms. Now they have an army of tutus. Can I draw an untapped land? I can. Is that still le is that lethal? It's a block, 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 block. Yes, it is. Yes, it is. If my math is correct, which it often isn't, it is exactly lethal. Boom, it all works out. There we go. There we go. Difficult matchup? No problem. No problem. Um, these firebrands do seem pretty bad. Killing soul hearts kind of important, kind of important though. So, I could shave a bastion. It's pretty easy to answer with skyclave. Yeah, yeah. I'm gonna just get shaved bastion. So we. I just want to make sure we have enough goblins in play for our experts and gem bombs. I should do something. So, stinky goblins, hell yeah, they're stinky. Now I gotta win again. No problem. No problem. We didn't even draw any gem bombs or experts that game. Ooh, this is a ah, canyon slow. Why are you trying to ruin my hand here? This hand would have been insane. We're going to keep them. 
Maybe we'll just draw a uh, blood crypts. For an expert? Sure, that's fine. That's fine. That's fine. That's fine. Wall blossoms, sure. So you have Thoughtseize Firebrand. Pashic Bonds, too. That's pretty cool. Yeah, nurse. I'm gonna try. I'm gonna finish up the the bronze mythic, uh, probably later this week. Try to get that going. And their hand is a land and a bunch of good cards. Uh, that's pretty scary. That's a really really good hand. Uh, our Pashic Mons is pretty good against this hand, but it just gotta be Soul Herder as usual. I guess the I'll. It's funny because I attacked with the Firebrand first because I was hoping maybe there's some world where they just don't block. I don't know why, because we have mana up. Uh, but now I can't leave Firebrand up to defend against Soul Herder, which is devastating. So I have to take it. If I had left the Firebrand brand back, I could have taken the Hunt Master probably, but whatever. Probably a bad play. They're going to block like 98% of the time. So. Probably a bad play. There's Spellbinder, but our hand's pretty pretty good. Patrick Mons is great. War boss is great. Expert's great. Ours is good too. If it was only a mob fan, well, then it wouldn't have attacked, right? So, take the war boss. We draw Bastion of Remembrance. All right, so play Pashik Mons and just say go, because now we have Pashik Mons to, to kill two things with this Firebrand. Can I get a witness? I do like Mog Fanatic better, don't get me wrong. Don't get me wrong. Innkeeper, okay. I mean, now Firebrand can kill Innkeeper and Spellbinder. Land tats. Do I take it or wait on it? Now we're just gonna wait on it, so. Draw a Blood Artiste. Nothing worth killing with Expert at the moment. It's all just Bastion go. Pretty annoying if they have Ephemerate, I guess, but we're not in a rush to do anything, so. The no attack, like, really doesn't really fails to force the issue, so. They can, like, witness back this, uh, this Soul Herder and stuff, but. Uh, that sucks. Alright, so they're gonna Neoform away the Spellbinder into, I assume, a Captain. And that's not cool. No, a Yasharn? But now I can't sacrifice stuff. That's like the whole point of our deck. God. Alright, well, things were going fine, and now are no longer going fine. Um... They exile the witness in their hand to get a creature. This card's pretty good. Just like super fauna shaman. Because the rates is good also. Uh we can push this, yeah. I don't have a push yet, and I can't make something die on on uh on demand, but Yeah, I mean, like, they're just going to get some, like, really good Soul Herder, Captain, whatever effect off his Huntmaster, so. Oh, they are tanking for a while on it, so maybe they don't have anything good. That doesn't make sense, though. Another Expert? Uh, I can't even use Phyrexian Tower. It's so annoying. I would tower away the Soldier for an Artist and have Expert up. That sucks. Uh, 
Uh, alright, yeah, we're just saying go here. We have an expert for three here. Masked Vandal? Not the card they got? That's a goblin. That's a goblin, folks. Does not count for expert, but it would count for gem bomb. Could have been worse. We're just like a few goblins short of killing the stupid Yasharn here. I think this is uh just kill this. That right, so good. Alright, there's Yori in the hand. He failed to draw a... Failed to draw a, uh... Land again. The Yori and Flicker isn't that good, and they only have one unknown card. Their damage isn't that bad, I guess. Let's get Blood Artist going and say go. I don't think leaving, leaving Expert up is necessary this turn. Really want to draw a land so you can double spell. Alright, so not too bad of a Yorian, honestly. If they flicker over your Sharn for value, it's actually good for us. Now we can kill it with the, uh, the, the expert, so. They're not going to do it. They're just going to discard the flicker, the innkeeper, and the thing, get a treasure and a card, gain some life. That's fine. This could be worse. This could be worse. Uh, okay. Just completely incapable of drawing land, but sure. Now our experts are on, I guess. I should be attacking with like my 1 1 goblins just to try and like, if they block, I'll just kill the innkeeper. Just like, they probably won't block. Alright. Uh, yeah, whatever. It's fine. It's basically irrelevant. Okay, now we can kill Yasharn, barring an Ephemerate, which would be really crappy. Um, then we can also tower out a Blood Artist. So, we're going for it. Don't Ephemerate me. Please, I'm begging you. Oh my god, are you kidding me? Eighty card deck, last card's ephemerate. Now at least I have like stuff though. Um until the thing comes back, I can sacrifice things. Doesn't really help much though, honestly. I'm gonna gain so much life too. Yeah, I mean like, this is probably really bad for us. I hate Yorian. All right, they get to get some lands, gain some life, 
and draw a card, but they are they are out of things to do. I'm able to kill the uh, the Asharn next turn. I think we're like actually fine this game as long as they don't draw. Actually, I'm sorry, they're they're gonna memorate again, aren't they? Sure. Just the wall. Not even go over the Yorian again. Mm -hmm. What's up, Phil? Ah. Oh. Okay. Maybe we're still okay here. We drew the land right on time. Um, I feel like this is the first turn we don't, don't actually need the land anymore. Femorate me again. No? Alright. Now we're free to do stuff. We're at 11. It's fine. I'm just not going to block anyway, probably. Sure. That's like the human. I could have sacked the goblin and killed the deputy, couldn't I have? Yeah, I screwed up. I screwed up. That was stupid. Ugh. This gets a four drop. They have more Yasharns in their deck. After all of that, to try and kill Yashar, it took us like nine turns to kill it. Or witness, sure, whatever. All right, yeah, they were just dead. Um, if I had not punted there, and if I had left us with, I would have killed the deputy and had, had Blood Artist in play. Like, maybe we can, like, push through their freaking 47 that these two things are in play, too. Yeah. We just, like, can't beat Yasharn, unfortunately. Obviously, we're a sacrifice-oriented deck. Yep, that's a sacrifice card. <laughs> So if we draw exactly a way to kill Yasharn. I should send these things in too, I think. Whatever. If we draw exactly a way to kill Yasharn, we can probably still win the game. I can kill all their stuff. Get my Blood Artist back. Kill all their other stuff. That is not a way to kill Yasharn. Um, yeah, it's pretty frustrating. Alright, what are you going to do? What are you going to do? My poor blood artists are lost. Lost. Yeah, because without Yasharn in play, we can sack any goblin to deal one damage. And we can just, like, ping the deputy, get our blood artists back, ping all of our stuff. 
make a million thing, you know, just like go nuts, but Yasharn turns it all off. So what are you gonna do? They got us. They got us. I screwed up. I could have killed this, and then maybe we would have had a few more turns or whatever. But what are you gonna do? What are you gonna do? Well, uh, the deck was pretty cool, honestly. It's really missing another good one drop, I think. Um, um, definitely. I wish the curve started a little earlier, but pretty fun deck. Pretty fun little goblin sacrifice deck. Uh, just nickel and diamond, blood artist, bastion, sling gang. I could see maybe playing, maybe maybe building a version that played uh, Meat Oak Massacre, which seems weird for uh, a deck like this, but it's just the same effect as Bastion, but cheaper. Prospector's not good in this deck because we're not like ramping into anything. It's just a one one for one, you know, like it doesn't really do much, um, unless you already have like multiple effects in play. I could see playing like one or two, maybe. Like there was two of the list for a bit. I just I just took them out, but. Um, also, Mog War Marshall will be huge for this deck, too, over, over the uh, Krenko's Commands. But, deck's fun. That's Mog Monday. Uh, YouTube folks, love you. Like, comment, subscribe. Episode 15, uh, 115 of Mog Monday. Final C for the holidays. I love you, YouTube. Thanks so much. Appreciate it. You're all great.